Please go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Hey. Okay, he uh my brother. Enter my brother. But I got to listen to my brother. Okay, okay. okay. Listen to Mike, if you like it. I know my own butt. Okay, okay. There okay. Oh, All right. Okay. Officially ready. Bob okay. Osmus, and you're up first, and then we'll uh, get oh. to the question. Hey, Georgie, how you doing? Let's go. Hey, um, yeah, I assume you've heard about Illinois' history and all the greatness in the past. How does it feel for you to be part of rebuilding the program to where you guys are now, contending in the Big Ten nationally? It feels really, really awesome. You know, I've been here through through a lot. Through a lot. When I came here freshman year, we won a couple of games my freshman year, and uh, we put a lot of a lot of work in from the coaching staff to the players to to the managers to the whole whole program here. We put a lot of work in to get to this point, and it feels. Uh, I mean, you guys see it. It feels really, really awesome. Will there be a lot of pride look going forward for you about what you guys were able to accomplish? I mean, you see it, right? We rocking the alumni, baby, right here. It is a lot of pride, you know. It is a lot of pride to be part of this, to be part of a part of U of I, part of this team. Um, I feel, I feel like it really shows. It really shows on the court. It shows off the court how guys are just walking down the street and uh, how just everybody's feeling. It just, it just shows naturally. I feel like. Thanks, Georgie. Okay, next up. No questions. I like it. Well, I'll see you guys next time. No, no, there's a bunch in the queue. Okay, okay. <laughs> Piper, go. Nobody wants to ask the questions. Okay. Oh, no. Well, well Rob's out figuring out the audio. Piper. Um, Hey, George, I want to ask you two things about the locker room the other night. First of all, can you take me inside? What's the stomp? What, what's behind that with, with Coach and all you guys were into it? The stomp? Um, actually, before the game, I don't know if you guys see it when uh, we have the video. Um, video, little video before we introduce the starting five. And then at the end, the Kofi does the, does the stomp. And then usually the guys who are standing on the court – I think it's Bello, Ben. I mean, most of the guys, we do that, you know? We do that. We like, boom, we ready. Anybody who comes our way, you know, we try and put, put our foot on him. So that's kind of insider thing, you know? And then coach did it in the moment. It was just a great moment, you know? And then in the video, you pointed to the board that says, do we have your attention now? Um, what's behind that? Trent said that you guys are out there trying to make a statement. What do you think that that statement was? I think it's just fixed for itself. Fair enough. Appreciate it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Georgie? Uh, the last three games, obviously, you've been without uh, Io Desumu, but what have been maybe the team's biggest three takeaways from those three games without playing with him? Um, I mean, I feel like we just showed how great of a team we are. You know, Io texted us. Uh, right after he uh, he found out he broke his nose and stuff, he texted us, "Hey, you guys, uh, step up," and um, and he just texted us a couple of days ago, "Hey, you guys really did it for me and for the team, you know." And it just shows how connected everybody is. One guy goes down, everybody connects even more, starts playing together even more for the guy who is down, for the guys next to each other, and uh, it shows that there is a real, real team uh, which is unstoppable. Really, really unstable when we are really like this. Awesome. One more quick one. What was the tune you were listening to when you first came in? Uh, it was actually a tune from uh, L1, Levan Gorosio, which is not an artist in the United States. And it's actually a great, great, uh, great, great song. It's called the, uh, the Bandits. Bandits, basically. That's what it's called. Uh, it's not in English, but yeah, I will, I will show it to you. But yeah. All good. Thanks, Georgie. Yes, sir. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay, can you... you can. Great. Hey, what up, Rob? Where are you at? I'm at the Union. You cold? It's outside. 
It's not cold. I was just walking outside. Sun is shining bright. What you Sitting mean? For like an hour. You got to get in the sun. Sun will really. But really then I can't see up. the screen. So anyway, I want to I want to tell you, or I want to ask you about the last game. You had 14 minutes, and uh, Jake had 13 minutes, and Demonte, uh, between the the three of you defending EJ Liddell and Kofi defending EJ Liddell, and he he really went off. It's going to be a difficult, you know, a new. Uh, defensive scheme obviously that you're going to use to stop him how are you going to do that i mean i got the real question for you why are you not in the sun because i was walking outside just now i, I didn't take a ride and sun is shining really bright you should really change a uh, really really change your location just get in the sun take the head off you know, if you're alone, take the mask off too and just get in the sun, get some sun on you, you know. Don't don't be in a shadow in this in this weather, you know, with this great sun. I like it. There we go. There we go. There yeah, we go. much better, huh? You still in the shadow. Well, I'm in the shadow, but but tell me about EJ Liddell. How are you going to stop him? EJ, he's unstoppable. He's unstoppable. I mean, he's a, he's a great, great player. And... Um, as you said, I mean, all the guys guarded him. So hopefully this time he will be, um, we will stop him somehow. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the game brings, you know. So you're not going to tell us the secret plan. I mean, there is no secret plan. Play hard, get a stop. Play hard, get a stop. Play hard, get a stop. Pretty simple. All right. That's it for me. That, Rob. Give him the sun, Rob. Come on. No idea how I follow that, but uh, hey, Georgie, uh, you, when you guys play against Ohio State, that'll be your twentieth Big Ten game, and you played a full schedule. Was there ever was there ever any doubt in your mind, you know, when other teams were canceling games that you maybe wouldn't get to that point? Um, no doubt, honestly, no doubt. There's always a chance for us to, you know, uh, catch COVID and um, test positive and stuff. But I feel like our guys just were so committed to each other to the team, to themselves, to not be the first guy to catch COVID and stop us from, from our goals. And uh, the guy's been awesome. The guy's been really, really awesome, you know, just uh, always uh, hanging out with each other. When somebody feels alone, we go um, we go hang out with them or, you know, just being, being really, really locked in on the goal and the bigger picture. Um, other than, you know, I will try to go hang out with somebody and uh, put the team at risk. And um, again, again, it just shows how much of these guys are about the team and not just about themselves. So uh, never I really had a doubt that we would, you know, play a full schedule just because of how committed all these guys are. And then uh, defensively against Michigan, you guys held them to a season low 34 percent from the field. What do you think you guys did so well on that end? Um, we were just super, super connected when you are so connected and you play harder than the other team. And we did. And uh I think one of the uh, coaches from the Michigan even said that, that we played harder than them, more connected, more nastier, you know? So once you do those things and you have really, really talented players, it just happens in a game that, that you know, we held them to whatever percentage it was, you know? Thanks, Georgie. Sir. <clears throat> hey, Georgie. Uh, about a year ago uh, today or last uh, year, the season stopped. Um, and how has – this last year for you uh, specifically impacted or, or changed you or, or your perspective on everything? I just missed the whole question. I was just looking at Jim and Jim is sitting not outside, but he is that what were you at Jim? Because you are not by union where Rob is at. Are you? No, I'm in my house. That's just a filter of the library. You so. got the filter. Okay. I'm sorry. I was just looking out. I'm like, that's not the real. Okay. Okay. Jeremy, can you ask me a question again? I'm sorry. I'll, 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 I just got distracted. Yeah, uh, about a year ago, Georgie, the season stopped, and you guys, you know, didn't get to play the rest of the way. Um, how has this last year kind of impacted or, or changed you or, or your perspective? Um, it was a horrible feeling. It broke our hearts, as I said many times already, that our season got canceled like that. And um, it's been a long, long time. A lot of lessons have been learned since then. And uh, – no, it's very, very different. Everything is different. I, I know for you guys it is, for us it is, and uh, uh, everything has been different. So it's been day to day learning. Okay, what's today gonna bring? What's a new challenge today? Something is new, something is different, and just being able to adapt to that and uh, still, still do what we love to do. And we've been able to do that 
And uh, honestly, just every day there is something new, some new challenge. And uh, uh, at this point, you just learn how to adapt every day. So that's what we've been doing. And uh, we are very, very, very happy that we are in this position right now. Um, and let's go win it all, baby. Let's go. I was going to ask, like, so going through this now, like the postseason is about to be here. Like, what's your perspective of that now that you didn't have it last year? Man, let's go win it all, especially we as much as work we put in already um, for this. And we are here. Uh, why to stop now? We know we didn't work just to come here. You know, we are we are going to go get it all, you know. So the perspective is just go win it all, baby. Thanks, Georgie. Hey, Georgie, um, kind of, you know, the idea and every season is maybe to be playing your best basketball, essentially, like, right now with the postseason coming up. Do you feel like this team is at that point? That we are playing best basketball right now? Yeah. Um, I feel like we are. We are playing our best basketball, but I feel like there's even more. There's even more. We will play even better teams in the tournament, you know, and uh, we know how March goes. The teams get really, really hot, so – I feel like we even can play even better, you know, to hold teams um, to even lower percentage and score even more. So um, we always looking for more as a team uh, because our potential as a team is uh, limitless, I feel like. So why to not get hot in this tournament and uh, be even better uh, on both ends of the floor and be even more connected and uh, having more fun? Uh, why not? And you know, over these last three games with, with Io out, did that maybe provide the opportunity for maybe younger guys, you know, Adam and Andre to step up and maybe everyone to, just to up their game just a little bit? Uh, most definitely. I mean, we, we all know Io is uh, one of the best players in the whole college basketball. And when a player like that goes down, everybody has to step up, Every everybody. And I feel like everybody has. Everybody stepped up. And um, as I talked uh, talked before, you know, he – uh, text us that message, you know, I need you guys to step up for me. And I think everybody did, not just the younger guys, but I feel like everybody did. And um, I'm real, really proud of, proud of everybody for that. Thank you, Georgie. Hey, Georgie, we saw, I think when Trent was shooting some technical free throws against Michigan, you guys were all kind of arm in arm there watching him. What is it about this team that makes you guys do that? And what does that do for you guys? That actually was one of my favorite moments this season uh, because Trent was shooting a free throw and we kind of, all of us, we kind of looked at each other and we kind of interlocked our arms like this. And I felt so, so great in that moment because I felt so much connectivity to these guys and to the whole team. And it just naturally happened, you know, with all the time that we spent together, all the work we put in and uh, uh, things like that just happened naturally. And it's, uh, it's such a, such a great feeling. So uh, it just naturally happened. It just shows how connected we are. And uh, I'll, I'll really, really love that moment, actually. You personally seem to be a guy who always has his arms around a teammate. What kind of energy does that give you? Like, can you best describe the feeling that comes over you when that's happening? Um, just, I feel like it's just natural for me. You know, I'm, uh, I'm an energy giver. I always give great energy. I always try to at least give out great energy to my teammates, to my guys, to everybody. So um, that's uh, that just, I feel like they're just who I am, you know? And uh, that's what I do kind of, give out great energy to the guys as much as I can. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes I'm frustrated too. I'm a human too, but uh, as much as I can, you know, I give out great energy, hug my guys, um, try to encourage them to do better and uh, yeah. Thanks, Georgie. Appreciate it. Hey, Georgie, you guys have talked about these championship aspirations all season long, you know, even before the season started. Now that you guys are in the position you're in, you know, top five team in the country, um, tournaments right around the corner, has the conversation changed at all in the locker room or is it pretty much stayed the same as it's been all year long? Come on now. You know answer to that question. You know answer to the question. Hey, our goal has been and uh, is and will be to go win it all. It has been. We knew right away when the season started what kind of players we have, what kind of talent we have. Um, and we, we kind of know that our potential is limitless. So right now, there is no change in our mind, you know. We want to go win it all. 
I guess just in, in terms of, you know, now that you guys are receiving some, some attention from outside of the program as well, has that kind of changed anything? Or are you still kind of just blocking out all the noise and kind of, you know, just keeping, keeping that same mindset? Um, it's great to feed off of that because it just shows that we put work in, we accomplished something, but that's not what, what we, you know, that's what we work for just to be here and, you know, have somebody, some people's intentions and stuff. That's not what we do it for. We want to go win a national championship. And we've been talking about that. And then goal, that goal has been the same. And uh, until we accomplish that, we will not be satisfied. Thanks, Georgie. Hey, Georgie. Um, you guys have, have been on a great run this season, right? I, I'm wondering, as someone who is has a positive outlook and is really in the moment, do you pause to think, um, and really enjoy this and, and, and think about how you might look back on it later in life? For sure. For sure, I do. I do. <clears throat> a lot of times, you know, I'm by myself too, especially at this time. Uh, I might be in my room or whatever and just looking at it, I'm like, damn, really damn, like, you know, where, where I've been my freshman year here, where we, you know, had nothing we were not ranked we didn't win many games nothing now looking at it we really 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 have a chance to win the national title i'm like it's pretty crazy and um just really enjoy it really enjoy it we have nothing left we have four or five weeks left of basketball you know what the last game is what april i don't know four fifth six something so we have nothing left why not to enjoy it to the fullest uh, give it all out and then uh we definitely i feel like um even now i'm looking back you know, four or five years ago when I played in, in Austria for a national title there, you know, in my age group. And I was like, damn, that was such a fun time. Like, and we still, I still talk to my teammates from there about those times. And I know this is a special team. And uh, from five years, 10 years from now, we'll be remembered. They're like, oh, you remember this, remember that. It was so fun. So I feel like uh, we definitely gather in some great, great memories here for sure. Absolutely. And then um, it looks like Coach Underwood um, is not a semifinalist for National Coach of the Year for the Naismith <laughs> category, at least. Um, Coach has, has been campaigning for some of you guys throughout the season. I know he's campaigned um, for Trent's defensive abilities as well as IO for Player of the Year. I'm wondering, do you have a case to make for Coach Underwood and why he should be Coach of the Year? Oh, I actually haven't followed none of that stuff, you know, how that how that works or how that goes with the with the I actually have a very little idea what you're what are you talking about, but obviously it has to be recognized. It has to be recognized. I mean, coming from where we were at my freshman year, and obviously it's been the same coaches, you know, and to for them coaches to get us here where we at right now, I mean, what other coach has done that? in the whole entire country, you know? So I feel like that really has to be looked at. That really has to be looked at. And uh, I really don't don't know how that stuff works or goes. Uh, I don't really follow that stuff, but that has to be really looked at. I mean, where were we two years ago? Where are we at now? Like, come on now, that has to be looked at really. Thanks, Georgie. Hey, Georgie, it's been a little while since you guys have played Ohio State. Where do you guys think you are now as a team and how different of a team are you since the first time you played them? Oh, uh, what a nice background picture. But um, why are you not outside, actually? Get outside, get some sun. Why not? You know, I encourage all you guys to get outside and get some sun today. But, Jim, to answer your question, that game was very different. That wasn't – um, that wasn't us right now. There wasn't the team that was that connected, play, was playing that kind of defense, offense, everything. It was totally different team then. We have uh, improved so, so much in all kind of aspects. So I feel like this, uh, this game tomorrow will be very, very different from the first game. Thanks, Georgie. Sir. Hey, Georgie, if I could get a quick follow-up. With COVID, I mean, there's no fans in the stands. You guys aren't maybe feeling as much of the love walking around campus or around town because everyone's kind of staying away from each other. How do you guys feel that love from, from people who are excited to see you on this championship march right now? Um, we definitely feel it, but I feel like, like you said, we definitely will feel it way more if uh, people were will be in the gym and on campus and then still on campus, you know, when we go get food or something, everybody recognizes us and says, let's go and let's go win it all and love you guys and everything. So we definitely feel it from that perspective. 
Um, I can't really say. I can't really say, you know, it will be an experience to have everybody in the gym and uh, um, really, really feel it. It's something that you have to, you know, experience and feel it to be able to talk about it. So um, I don't know, actually, you know. Is there a cool story picking up food that sticks out in your mind that, that somebody hmm. has yelled at you? Any Anything that's right at the top of your head? I mean, it's um, anytime. Anytime, you know, personally me or uh, I feel like everybody, all the guys from the team that go out to get food or whatever, everybody always, you know, encourages us. Everybody follows basketball, I feel like, on this campus. And uh, um, and uh, I feel like it just, um, <laughs> I can't go, coach. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, honestly. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh my god that coach just really really i just lost my focus i don't know what coach was doing but um yeah i mean no i mean there are definitely there is definitely some crazy stories uh there's definitely some crazy stories none that i can think about right now but it happens every day it happens every day and it's great it's i love it i love it thanks georgie sir all right that'll thank wrap you. us up with georgie georgie thanks thank for your time you can hit mute, but don't hang it up because we're going to coach next, G. Thank you, Georgie. Bye-bye. 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 Somebody translate that?